Oh, wow, dude. I, I, I can't even tell what this was supposed to be anymore. If I didn't know this was supposed to be a castle, I wouldn't have any guess. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Biz Siege Fuck Around, where today we indeed are gonna fuck around. But really quickly, I want to show you something that I have built, which also kind of ties into this episode. Now, I just tried my way. This is nothing special. This is simply made for cosmetic reasons only, right? But it actually looks pretty cool. I wanted to, you know, go for this sort of medieval-esque type tower look thing. And I figured that if I was gonna make these bricks, it was gonna pull a hell of a lot of power which it does. I think this one has, oh, 49, 47 blocks. Yeah, that's, that's something. I didn't actually know it had that many, but you know what? It doesn't even matter because this is just going to be shown very briefly in the beginning of the episode and why this piece is still here. I have no idea, but yeah, the reason why I'm not going to use this is because nothing is destructible, right? And so it is not good for a besieged fuck around episode. However, this is destructible. Oh, okay, they're already shooting, right? That's fine, though. I just really, really quickly want to show you this because you might be able to tell that there's a bunch of small black crevices around every single brick here. Well, that is because it is literally not put together. So you can actually take the drag tool <laughs> and do something like this and already it just looks super, super awesome. Let me see what happens if I pull right here. Oh my God, look at that. Like, there's nothing more satisfying than watching bricks perfectly fall apart. <laughs> I know it's weird that it can perfectly fall apart, but this is kind of the case. Can we play Jenga here? Can I can I pull this out? Okay, that I, I think I lost the game of Jenga. Yeah. How about this? I'm just gonna troll this guy. <laughs> there we go. Uh, he doesn't seem to take any harm. Okay, yeah. Spoke too early. And hello, my buddy. I'm just gonna grip there and simply pull up just a random place. And he's gonna die too. Yeah, there we go. Now over here, we have a bunch of things that we can actually do to the castle. And I've tried a couple of them. And I really don't want to show everything because in case there's some people who haven't tried this yet, I don't want to spoil everything. However, my favorite one is the tornado, which we're gonna take a look at right now. Oh, the graphics are weird. Okay, I think this is gonna hit it. Yeah, okay, then pull down the speed. We have a little timer up here, <laughs> which also sort of slows down whenever you slow down the time. So now I just gotta get close and get a really good angle on this. And again, please excuse my sniffles, but yeah, it doesn't really seem to wanna go away. I can be completely fine one day and then the next one stuffed. I don't know why. Either ways, there it is. Okay, all right, so let's just put down the speed a little bit more already. It is tearing up the side, holy crap. I think maybe a bit more speed will do just fine. Whoa! Whoa, look at the wall, dude, look at the tower! This is perfectly falling apart, holy shit! It is literally lifting bricks, layer for layer, shooting them up. Oh my god, this, this is insane. And now the second tower, <laughs> look at that, it's just being pulled up. It still kind of has the original structure. Oh my god, look at the side of the wall! Just look at it, it's taking up the gate. <laughs> it doesn't even care. Goodbye, my planet needs me. Oh, wow, dude. I, I, I can't even tell what this was supposed to be anymore. If I didn't know this was supposed to be a castle, I wouldn't have any guess. So you know what? I'm just gonna say it. We're not gonna get any better results, I think. I'm still gonna try something here because, of course, this is still Besiege Fuck Around, and we can still do exactly that fuck around. Yeah, I think this is mu uh, this is much, much better now, so I can actually control these missiles here. Now, let's just make sure that they actually hit the target, and not a freaking arrow. Come on, come on! <laughs> Please, yes! Oh my god, that's beautiful. Okay, I really want to hit the tower next time, but man, that was good. Okay, so it's time to hit the towers. I see that there's <laughs> the two lower ones. They're not really gonna go for it that well. However, this one will, and so I'm gonna turn down the speed very, very slightly, and then go to the other side and check out this boom. Oh my god, I mean, this is vastly slower, but look at that! The fire eruption from the inside! Holy crap! Okay, no, no, this is this is all good, just please don't explode before I get here. There we go! Oh my god, that's exactly what I wanted. Look at that! The entire tower! <laughs> This is insane! Okay, so it didn't necessarily blow up all of the castle. This guy is still on his way down. I don't know what the hell he's doing. But yeah, we can use environmental things, we can use missiles, or we can use level editor objects to destroy this castle. 
I say we do the third thing. All right, so a little bit of building later here. Let's just two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. This should be pretty good. Now there is one bomb inside of each of these wind tunnels here and then of course this ramp and everything else is gonna go away as soon as i press space i'm just really really interested in seeing how much force this can actually give it let's very very quickly see oh wow that is actually really really quick compared to the fact that this is eight percent speed oh it's not gonna hit it is it whoa it may actually hit it perfectly Holy crap, I did not count on that. Well, the thing about fuck around is that we usually just modify something if it doesn't work. Well, in this case, it doesn't really work exactly the way that I want it to. Aha! Okay, I think this... Is Jesus Christ, this is the worst weapon of total domination. But okay, let's see about this. If I focus here and then just simply... Oh, lag. But if I simply let them go... Oh, that is quick. Again, 8% speed. <laughs> Holy shit, it may even overshoot. Oh my god. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have put them that high up. All right, so they've been lowered a bit. Now, please just at least hit one row because then the other ones... Whoa! Whoa! Okay, this is what I'm talking about with the camera messing up. I'll try that one more time. All right, then 5% speed. Everything should be okay. The camera should not mess up. So, whoa! The tower! Holy shit, the tower! Like, look at this, the side of the tower even. Even if we don't get a huge explosion, I say the stuff like this is still worth it. Oh god, wow, it is, it is literally collapsing the back wall. It is literally falling, and you can see it brick for brick. You can even see the stress on the wall as it snaps. Dude, I love this build. I absolutely love this. And this also gives me a lot of awesome ideas for the future of Besiege Fuckaround. But man, that was crazy. Okay, so that was a bomb. What if we take no bombs? What if it's simply just a physical object, like a boulder? All right, now this is not exactly a boulder, but I think it's gonna do its work just fine anyway. Uh, maybe a little bit too high, I think maybe there, there we go. Speed? No, okay, right, the speed is okay. And the good thing here is we can actually follow the ball because it's not an object that's gonna get destroyed. And it may still be falling too rapidly here, and then it's not gonna give me the desired effect <laughs> that I want. Yeah, it's, it's gonna stop it drastically, so that doesn't work. No, how about if I just check... Oh, force. Oh! Oh, the force, okay. That's good. Oh, a thousand force. Dude, this I can work with. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is so much better. And it has a direct course for the freaking tower. <laughs> Just the corner there. So it should be able to rip up a good part of the castle here. I want to see this from the inside, too. Look at this. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, kind of anticlimactic. How about if we just duplicate it a few times? Let's say 10. Just so we have 10,000 force. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, that's better. That's much, much better. Is it going to overshoot? It completely overshot. No! That's not what it's supposed to do. Trying this again. This should not... Okay, right there. Whoa! Whoa! That is the reaction that I wanted. Oh, man. Look at that. Bricks flying out everywhere. But I'm pretty sure that the best part is... Oh, god damn it. Where does it blow the thing now? Is that left? Okay, right, that's left. That's good. Because this wall has the best amount of light. I know it sounds really, really silly, but it does. So let's do this! Let's see about this wall here. Please? Oh, no. Yeah. It, it kind of... Ah, oh, damn it. It's this thing that's messing it up. So goodbye, 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 goodbye. There we go. Now I'm gonna set this to 2% speed. It's already really, really fast behind there. But this is possibly the smoothest that I can make it. I mean, again, like I just said before, the walls breaking up is just the most satisfying freaking thing to see. And regardless of the fact that it has 10,000 force, it's still not actually breaking the entire wall. I think it's really cool that it has enough force so that it can actually cut it clean. Now, when we have a level quite like this, I like to, you know, go a little bit crazy. So I think this will definitely help me do just that. For those of you who don't know this, or for those of you who don't remember this, this is the black hole. And okay, a few other level effects here that's gonna disappear as soon as we press space. I didn't put those in, they are just here. I just want you, uh, yeah, yeah, roughly right there, because I'm pretty sure that the suction power on this thing is crazy, at least from what I remember. So, start, start simulation, and press Y right away. Now, this is at 2% speed, so at some point, I think it's just gonna start randomly, and it's gonna, yeah, okay, there it is, right. That is a little bit, whoa, 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 the castle! 
What, dude? <laughs> Look at that. Okay, forget what I said before about not getting a cooler result out of this, because this... Yeah, okay, this takes the... Whoa, what the fuck? Okay, let's just go back here, because... What? I'm gonna try to up the speed to 11%. It is already lagging way, way more. Perhaps turn it down slightly. There we go. Okay, it's faster, but way... Oh, god damn it, way more chaotic. <laughs> is this... Okay, that's 0% speed. Holy crap. It looks like a giant four-legged monster made out of bricks flying in the air. Oh, wow. It's so peaceful. At 2%, I could just sit here for the rest of the day and look at this. Oh, my God. It is so peaceful. And it's amazing to think that every single little piece of gravel in here is being affected by this black hole. And twirling around, creating those amazing effects. You know what? I have to see that one more time. 2% speed. Yeah, it's fine. And there we go. Oh my god, you can see the structure just morphing and distorting and simply getting destroyed of this castle. Oh my god. And the way that everything goes in the bottom and spews out the top. Holy crap. Okay, there goes my name block. See you never. But man, I, I feel so sorry for the soldiers that has been caught up in all of this mess because they're about to get crushed of all the shrapnel, and my computer is about to get crushed because of all of the lag. So I'm pretty much sure I'm gonna end this one here. <laughs> but guys, this was absolutely crazy, and I really, really love when stuff like this happens, because this means that you can, you can mess around with physics, which you often don't get to do, really. So, oh, hey, the name blog is back. Yeah, but either ways, guys, I'm gonna leave you here with this peaceful and beautiful field of shrapnel raining down. So thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this episode. And I'm sorry to say that the Subnautica episode is going to be a little bit delayed because Friday is actually my birthday. And so I'm going home to my hometown, but I'm hoping that I can get a video in Saturday or maybe even a stream. I'll see to that. But either ways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.